This is an interview question which you may get asked, uh, at least if you are uh, relatively not too experienced. Uh, so what is the fastest way of finding if something is a power of two? And it's pretty much on the same lines as uh, uh, as an interview question. It is on the same lines as this lightning talk from yesterday. And it was so hilarious. But I'm sorry to disappoint. This one does not involve using a hash map, contrary to what the other talk says. So let's look at how to find out if an unsigned is a power of two. That's the problem statement. And so just a reminder, there are these many kinds of people, those that understand numbers and those that don't. Let's see where you are. So powers of two, these are some powers of two that I've listed and the powers of two, when represented in their own base for any number represented in their own base, the powers would just have a single one in them. So for a binary number, it would just end up having a single bit set in the entire number, as you see here. So that's the property to look for, right? Let's see what to do. And I've asked this question to uh, in a number of forums, and these are based on the, the what I'm showing here, the functions are based on the answer, some of the answers which I've got. So this is a, a loop which goes through all the bits. And uh, it just, it, it's trying to count the bits, uh, count how many ones it encounters. So you rotate one those many times and you end it with N. And if you get back the N, something which is not zero, if you get back not zero, sorry, that should not be zero, you will count the number of bits. Okay, and uh, pretty straightforward. So if, if the number of bits is one, you know you have come across a power of two. And if I just represent the same thing, this is the same as the previous slide, as you see, I'm switching. Uh, it's just using any unsigned. So I don't have to be stuck to the unsigned. It is a generic algorithm now. It's doing the same thing. But as we see, we are already calculating all the powers of two here by rotating. So why not just match with the same? So if n is equal to the rotated number, that could be your, uh, it's just a little brief. It doesn't make a change in the compiler output, but it's just a little brief. You already generated, you just match against. Kernig and Ritchie in their C programming language book came up with such a, uh, such a logic. For this is true only for powers of two, where you just have one one. And if you subtract one from it and add it to the number, you will always get zero only for a power of two. I've shown for some other numbers, it, it just comes up with something which is not zero. So checking against zero for this is a way to find out. It's brilliant. It's just, you need to know your numbers. You could use a bit set. This is a smart way. Uh, you you take the n and create a bit set out of it. And of course, you then can check the count. This is not const expert. All the other solutions can be const expert, but this one wasn't. I, I, I discovered that when I tried this. So that's a way, and that's neat. In just one line, you could do this. But in C++20, we have an, uh, this bit header coming up with these facilities. Mm -hmm. And some of these are useful to us, like pop count. Let's see. You could use pop count by including that bit. And for any unsigned, it would do the same for you. You don't have to write your own code. It will give you the count of the number of set bits. And you just check that and you know it's a power of two. Neat, isn't it? And not only that, even the matching business can be done by the standard function uh, has single bit here. This is another one from the same header. And it tells you just yes or no, whether there's just a single bit. So that's the answer. Just a one function call is the answer to the uh, power, whether a number is a power of two. Performance, you see pop count is just one instruction. When I compiled and saw, I'm not projecting some uh, Godbolt images, but Pop count was what uh, was compiled out, was the instruction used for the last three bit set, the pop count and the uh, single bit one. So which of these types are you? Thank you.